Okay, Maximus, you gonna let me record? Huh? How about Wesley? Is he gonna let me record or is he gonna chew on that bone the whole time? Yeah, we'll see. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the next chapter vlog. I've renamed it from the vlog with no name. I've given it a name because basically we're going to cover Art's life in the next chapter of his life. First of all, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. This vlog is starting to gain some traction. I have wrote some notes this time. Um, so we've got some good things going on. Um, what else do I want to say about the new subscribers? Thank you. Um, it's, been a, it's been a joy uh, interacting with you. A um, couple of other things. I bought myself a vlogging camera, which is what I'm recording on right now. And this is it here. It's a Sony ZV-1. My daughter is jealous because I've got this really good vlogging camera. I just got a handle with controls on it so I can do wireless uh, control. And that's what I'm holding on to right now to do this vlog. Uh, so this is great. Um, what else do I want to say about that? That's about all I want to say about the camera. I also have a wireless microphone now attached to it, so you know, audio should be better. I was using a GoPro Model 9. The thing I did not like about it was the battery life was horrendous. And it's like I have to charge the thing about every three minutes, it seemed like. So that's, that's why I made this switch to this new camera, and it's great. So in the news yesterday, uh, the company I used to work for, Enterplus, uh, a news article broke. I got a text from a coworker who used to work there also. I well, you know if I've seen this. Apparently, Enterplus is being acquired. Or they're in the negotiations to be acquired. Um, I'll say very little on it. I am a shareholder still. I still own shares in Enterplus, so I'm hoping for a respectable payday out of it. Um, when this is all said and done, uh, I just wish everybody I left behind there well, most of you anyway, uh, the rest of you, karma, uh, <laughs> that's all I have to say. I know that sounds bad, but I felt better saying it. Um, so I really can't say a lot because I don't know a lot other than what was in this article. Uh, and I don't want to know anymore, uh, beyond that because I don't want insider information. So that's kind of the big news from yesterday, and we move on. Next on my notes, 100 days. It's been about 100 days since I did my retirement. Um, what have I been doing? Uh, a lot of it is just getting my finances in order. Uh, this happened a little quicker than I would have liked. Uh, so I had to get some things in place. Uh, Rocket, The Rocket Money app is really good. It's been... Great in kind of showing me where my spending's been. I found some subscriptions I forgot about and have canceled those. And as other things come up, I'm going to uh, cancel that also. Uh, health insurance. I elected not to go with the COBRA I was offered. Um, I actually found a cheaper plan in the Colorado State Healthcare Marketplace. So I've been using that, and I've been working through that. It's pretty much done everything I needed to do at this point. And the other item that's now come into play is Social Security. And I apologize if you could hear the other dog chewing on a bone. He wanted to add some stuff to this. Um, it's, Social Security took a little while. There were a number of issues. Number one was when I originally applied in November, I found a question, I either misread it or it was very poorly worded, and I answered it wrong. So I had to actually go down to the Social Security office and talk to somebody there, uh, kind of reiterated my current work situation and history. And it's like, okay, no problem. Then six weeks later, I get a letter from Social Security. It's like, well, you don't qualify for benefits because we feel your income in 2024 is going to be the same as in 2023. And I'm like, I filed an appeal and I said, not even close to what I was making. So I got benefits approved and then I ran into another roadblock when I set up the uh, direct deposit. I, I picked a bank account that I had closed 
and didn't realize I had done that. So I actually got a hold of somebody in Social Security this week, talked to them. We got it straightened out. And three days later, I got three months worth of payments. Um, so that was interesting, getting three months of payments. Uh, according to a letter I have, I'm supposed to get a payment next week. We'll see if I was part of that three months or not. And then I go into a regular schedule of every second Wednesday. Um, the other thing I've now gotten into place is Medicare. Uh, April 1st, I now will be covered under Medicare. Um, I have a Medicare Advantage plan, and I probably will do a vlog on that later as to what I have. And so I feel pretty good. I'll have to cancel my Marketplace Health Insurance and my Marketplace Dental Plan because everything will be covered under the uh, Medicare Advantage plan. And there's some interesting things about Medicare I've learned in the last few months that people who say they want Medicare for all uh, you may want to rethink that just based on how things are going to be covered for me. So what's, what do we got for the next few months? Let's see if I can go to page two here. Um, what I've been working on for the last few years since my wife had her stroke and went into uh, long-term care is I've been doing something. I didn't know there was a name for it at the time I started it. And the name, <laughs> gentlemen, come on. Hold on a minute. I'll be back. It's amazing. I've I bought two chew bones for them, the exact same bone, and it always fails, or it never fails. The two of them fight over the same bone, and that's what was going on right here. So they went upstairs. Hopefully, they will find the other bone. Things will quiet down. If not, they'll be upstairs, and I'll let them yell at each other upstairs. So you may hear them in the background. So anyway, Swedish death cleaning is where we left off. Um, I've been taking time on and off the last three years is getting rid of the clutter. This house, quite frankly, became a warehouse for Michael's uh, craft store. Um, I've been purging a lot of that because uh, my wife is never going to use probably 98% of what was there. And I had some help getting rid of it and made a, made a few dollars off of it. So life is good there. Um, I've reduced clothing. I've got her down from literally two closets to one closet, and all her clothing's downstairs right now. And I've gotten rid of a number of things. I've gotten rid of some books and, and magazines and other fun things like that. I'm looking to unload a stamp collection that I've had since I was about eight years old. Um, so if you're interested in my stamp collection, reach out. Uh, legitimate offers only. Don't try to con me because I'm smarter than that. Um, and I've got additional purging to go. I cleaned out an area. There was a table in my living room next to my printer. It's the printer that the whole house uses. So my daughter uses it and it's been in the living room. There was a table next to it, a camping, folding camping table that ended up being literally a junk drawer. So I've, I cleaned that. I got rid of about 90% of what was on that table either shredded it or threw it away. Uh, I folded the table up. It's in the garage, vacuumed the area. And it's amazing how much room opened up, and I'm looking to continue that in other parts of the house. I got rid of an old TV console that had my 42-inch uh, big screen on top of it. I bought a smaller table, opened up a ton of room, and that's what I'm kind of looking for. I've got two rooms downstairs that had all of our crafting stuff. I've got one now cleaned out that's the man cave and I may show it to you sometime um, I'm actually hanging pictures in it now uh, and then there's another room that we refer to as the playroom there's a lot of my wife's stuff is in there uh, there's a pile I'm putting together for a garage sale and like I said stuff's going uh, what Swedish death cleaning is it's a concept sorry they're barking at each other it's a concept of you don't want to leave stuff in your house to your children to take care of. I've talked to all three of our children, and there's nothing here that they want. And I've, I've asked them multiple times. So there's, there'll be things that'll be going. There probably will be some things that'll get passed on, um, but there's not going to be a lot. 
So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all this. And this will be fun um, to do that. Other things I'm working on, I'm starting my prep for my Flagstaff trip in May. Uh, this is the geocaching event in Flagstaff. Um, another thing is, too, I've got some national park visits as part of this. So what I bought right after I left was, since I'm old enough, I bought a senior lifetime America the Beautiful National Park Pass. And it was $90, so that's not too bad. So if you're 62 or older, you might want to consider it. It'll get you into every national park and federal recreation land in the United States. Uh, yeah, so it's a good deal. It's in my car right now. Uh, I'm probably going to be hanging Grand Canyon. I'm trying to get a filming permit because being a vlogger, I can't take footage in a national park and just use it. I have to have a permit for it. So I'm trying to get a permit for Grand Canyon. Uh, I may get into Zion, but that's now a timed entry. And I don't know what time I'm getting into Zion that first, or not, not Zion, um, Arches. Correction, Arches National Park. That's a timed entry. I don't know when I'm going to get to Arches and, and the, the town there, so it'll be hit and miss for that one. And then on the trip back, I'm going to try to get to the Petrified National Forest in Arizona, Arizona, New Mexico. And I'm not going to do a permit on that one, so I won't have any footage. Um, so that, that's my fun. Other things I'm going to do is I need to refocus on my low carb diet. I've kind of, I have slipped really bad from it and the weight's kind of reflected that. Uh, not a lot of pounds have come back on, but enough to, to say, okay, we're going to, we're just going to refocus on that. Um, one of the nice things about retirement is I did go out to breakfast this morning. It wasn't low carb. I'll admit that, but it was, uh, it was something I ate. That will hold me till dinner tonight. So it's that's the really nice thing about being retired is I can go to a breakfast restaurant on a weekday and not feel guilty about not not being around for the office. So I got that. The other thing I've refocused on is reading. I'm currently reading a book that I will bring to you in a future vlog. Uh, I'm going to be glad to f be finished with it, I'll be honest with you. I don't like starting to read a book and then drop it. Um, you know, it's like when I watch a movie, I don't like starting to watch a movie and drop it. Um, so we've got that going on. Another thing I'm working on, puzzles of various types. I do crossword puzzles. Um, and online, I'm doing the New York Times Wordle. And then there's another one called Connections, which is they give you 16 words. And you got to group them into four uh, groups based on the word. And there's usually a theme for each group. And you got to figure out the theme or what sounds logical. And you get like five attempts to solve all that. And I do pretty good most days. And the other thing I, I need to do is, and I've been told this not just by my, my mental health professional, but by my wife uh, in different ways, I need to get out of the house more. That's kind of where I'm guilty of right, of right now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It's um, I need to get out of the house more. I probably need to try to socialize more. Uh, so I'm going to figure out what to do there. Ideally, I'm trying to go to a geocaching event tomorrow morning. But the weather, their meteorologists in town are hedging their bets. I'm hearing reports. I actually heard one meteorologist say, we're looking at between 2 and 18 inches of snow on Saturday. Okay. That is hedging your bet big time. So we're, we've got that going on. So I don't know if I'm going to get out tomorrow for that. Um, and the other thing I've done, the uh, and part of my severance package, I had out placement services. And so what I'm doing, rather than trying to use the placement out placement services to find another job, I'm using some of the other benefits that are there. And I've signed up for a year subscription to Masterclass. And so these are classes that are taught, taught by celebrities to do various things. Uh, we may, I, may, I may do a video on that in the future. I just got the link to finish the sign up this morning, so I haven't been on it yet. And we're going to see how much fun I can have with that. So what have you guys been up to? Um, that's it for me for today. So please remember, and I appreciate this, 
Please like, share, and subscribe to these videos for the new and improved The Next Chapter blog. God, i got to go back to read what the title is because it hasn't burned in my brain yet. Uh, the Next Chapter blog. Uh, keep, keep on smiling, and we will see you next time.